In March 2020, and without prior warning to the employees, Debenhams Ireland announced that they would go into liquidation with the loss of over 1,000 jobs. The timing of this company's decision coincided with the onset of the COVID-19 global health pandemic, which greatly hampered the opportunity for workers to vindicate their legitimate employment rights and receive the terms of a collective redundancy agreement negotiated by their union mandate and the company. There are a number of possible options which could, either individually or in combination, go some way towards addressing the problems currently preventing the ex-Debenhams workers from vindicating their right to the terms of the collective redundancy agreement, all of which now requires legislative change. Mandate and ICTU are calling on the government to immediately implement new legislation containing the recommendations of the Duffy Cahill Review of the 11th of March 2016 in its entirety so that workers with an employer currently in the process of liquidation can benefit from its provisions and that future workers in similar circumstances are protected. A number of European countries, such as Germany and Austria, have already established levy funds on private sector employers for such purposes, with contribution rates ranging from 0.35% to 0.66% of labour costs. Mandate believes a similar model should be introduced in this country. Any legislative enactment to implement this scheme must take account of the original liquidation date and subsequent redundancy of the Debenhams Ireland workforce. Mandate is calling on the support of every elected political representative to do everything within their power, both within their own political party and within Dáil Éireann, to ensure the smooth passage of new legislation to protect vulnerable workers. We are calling on every political representative to set aside their differences and join in a common cause to publicly endorse the Mandate ICTU campaign for urgent and effective legislation to adequately deal with this ongoing abuse of workers. Mandate Trade Union is calling on all its members, the wider trade union movement and our friends in our communities to join with the ex-Debenhams workers to lobby constituency offices around the country in order to bring about this change. In pursuing a resolution to this dispute, the ex-Debenhams workers are campaigning for the following objectives. The introduction of new legislation to encompass the main recommendations of the Duffy Cahill report. Workers have a right to access the terms of a collectively negotiated redundancy agreement. The establishment of an employer's fund to pay for this entitlement government agreement to make an advanced payment from this fund to Debenhams workers. Together, we are stronger.